You may not recognize our next guest because he won last comic standing, which is a lot like being the best fisherman in, well, the desert. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my friend John Reap. Thank you, Jeremy Hotz. Who are your parents, Kathy Bates and Snuffleupagus? Jesus. I mean, come on, I've seen smaller noses on 747s. Look at that damn thing. <laughs> Jeremy, what does it smell like in Seattle right now? <laughs> and look, we got Earthquake here. Look at that. Great name, huh? Earthquake. I guess Mudslide was taken already. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he likes it. Oh. I talked to one of your old girlfriends. Uh, she said uh, the name Earthquake also applies to how you make love. Uh, it doesn't happen very often. <laughs> it lasts five seconds, and when it's all over, she's devastated. <laughs> all right, but let's get to Mr. Harvick here, the man of the hour. Mr. Kevin Harvick, everybody, come on now. Obviously, I, I don't know you very well, Kevin, uh, but I do find it interesting that people keep referring to you as the kid, you know? <laughs> calling you the kid at this point is silly. It's just like calling Justin Bieber Paul Paul. <laughs> <laughs> You're 35 years old, dude. 35 is not a kid. Well, actually, compared to Hornaday, it's kind of a kid, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and his nickname is Happy. Isn't that great? Well. If you're gonna be nicknamed after one of the seven dwarfs, that's the one to have right there. <laughs> Happy. Right. Hey, I, too bad there's not a dwarf named Punchy. <laughs> and Kevin's wife, Delena, is here. Lovely, lovely Delena. She's on uh, Twitter every day, dropping sponsors' names like Kate Goslin drops kids, people. <laughs> I'm joking, I like Delana's tweets. She's got some nice tweets. <laughs> I'm just saying, sweet tweets. <laughs> Speaking of nice tweets, I also follow the Budweiser girls right here, although I'm pretty sure their tweets are all fake. So. <laughs> so. I love you too. And I agree, I am number one. Kevin, let's not forget your awesome pit crew. What can I say about the Happy Jackers? <laughs> they are dedicated to jacking you, hapster. Most grown men that hide behind a wall waiting for a car to pull up so they can jack it get all arrested. Uh, but not the Happy Jackers. <laughs> I hope I haven't hurt your feelings tonight, Kevin. Uh, after all, it's all in good fun. But if I did, I'll just take a page from your book and ask for forgiveness later. So. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Awesome, Good job. Thanks. People have joked about our next presenter for being a fat, hairy womanizer. <laughs> Apparently, that's what turns ladies on these days. <laughs> Please welcome Tony Stewart. Are you shaking? Not yet. You should be. Because <laughs> I'm the one on stage that will whip your ass. <laughs> so. Only when need be. <laughs> I know Kevin and Delana don't have any kids yet, and mostly because Kevin doesn't have the time to take nine months off of his schedule. <laughs> No doubt in my mind that, that he's capable of it, of getting pregnant, that is, but, and to be truthfully honest, uh, Delana's definitely the man for the job, so. <laughs> and some have said Kevin fights like a girl. I really don't think it's honestly fair to him, because even girls win a fight once in a while. <laughs> so. But um, honestly, I, I have to say that I'm glad I went after Dylan, because Mike, every time I listen to you, you just make me feel so much better about myself. <laughs> I, 
I can't help it, dude. That was that even made me uncomfortable sitting on stage. Uh, I know what you mean. I say that, and the thing is, you look in the cup garage and you realize that Mike Dillon is actually the smartest guy in the cup garage because he realized real early he couldn't drive a hot nail in a snowbank. So he just married an owner. He owned his daughter. But uh, really looking forward to, to Kevin's speech later, even though I don't think it's really going to hold a lot of weight to it. But I have to tell one more really good story. And, you know, we've been friends for a long time, and I've driven for you for a long Well, actually, I've driven for your wife for a long time. But, um, you know, we, a lot of times in the motorhome lot, we're parked next to each other. And I uh, wake up one morning and get, get on my uniform and get ready for practice and realize that I've come outside, and it's two hours fast on my clock. And so I think Kevin has come in the night before, and got in my clock, set it two hours fast. So this bus driver says that they're awake and inside and Kevin's getting ready. So I, I run inside real quick thinking that I was actually looking more forward to jumping in bed with Delena than I was seeing Kevin. <laughs> Yet did I realize how bad of an idea it really was when I got there because Kevin's in the shower and instead of worrying about me jumping in bed with his wife, he's worried about taking his finger and covering himself up. <laughs> Dylan, I'll for you so you understand it later. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I feel bad for you, dude. It made, it, again, it was like hanging out with Dylan. It makes you feel better about yourself. So. <laughs> but don't worry. It's all good. When this is over tonight, we're parked together in the same bus lot right next to each other like normal. And uh, I'll come over, and Delana and I will show you what more than three minutes really is all about tonight. <laughs> I appreciate everything that you've done for me. You've always given me great race cars to drive, and uh, you're a great friend, and you've helped me be a lot better businessman. So uh, because of that, I'm going to let you off the hook easy now. <laughs> Having a legend, Tony Stewart, ladies and gentlemen. How you hanging in, Kev? I'm ready. You're looking good on your throne. All right, when we come back, we're going to hear from this evening's guest of honor, Kevin Harvick. <laughs> Unless we mysteriously run out of time. <laughs> we'll be back after this.